everybody. So basically kidneys are the pair of excretory organs. These are retroperitoneal, that is they are covered with peritoneum only and clearly. So right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney and the left kidney is more medium, more medium to the medium plane. So kidney has the anterior surface, the posterior surface, the middle border and the lateral border and it has two poles, the upper pole which is broad and the lower pole which is pointed. And uh, in, in embryo, uh, we have lobulated kidneys which have the 12 lobules and these lobules get, fi uh, these get fi fused to form the kidney. So the anterior surface is slightly rough and the posterior surface is flat. So we cannot distinguish between the anterior and the posterior surface of the kidney. So in order to distinguish, we can use the hilum. The hilum is a depression which contains the renal artery, the renal vein and the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis is the upper part of the uh, ureters. So kidney basically uh, is covered by the fibrous capsule which is a thick layer which is co covering the kidney. Then we have the perianal or perinephric fat which lies outside the fibrous capsule. Then we have the renal fissia which basically originates posteriormedially posteriormedially posterior and then goes anteriormedially to form the anterior thin layer and the posterior thick layer and the fuse laterally to form the later coronal fascia. And uh, we have the outer reddish brown cortex, the inner pale medulla. Let's, let me interrupt you. Uh, so, uh, I didn't notice, did you tell us about skeletal trophies? So, how do they locate according to the levels of vertebras? Kidneys. Kidneys. Uh, kidney basically, uh, the upper lobe is basically from the upper border of the 12th thoracic vertebrae mm -hmm. to the center of the 3rd lumbar vertebrae. Mm -hmm. And how do they locate according to each other? What is their relations to another organ and how do they locate? Right one, left one? Posteriorly they are located with the uh, group of muscles, uh, coaxis major, the quadratus lumborum and the upper of the transverse abdominis. Mm -hmm. And anteriorly on the right kidney is uh, in relation with the uh, liver. Mm -hmm. and so it is located a little bit below the liver, the upper part hepatic. Inferiorly, kidney. because of the liver which is located over it. And the and second part of duodenum, uh -huh. the small intestine, which is in the liver, the colic area, the hepatic flexor of the colon. And on the left kidney, pancreas. Mm -hmm. Pancreas, the spleen, the jejunal area of the short, and the col uh, colic area. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And they are located retro peritoneum. Retro peritoneum. Everybody remembers what is located retro peritoneal is covered with the peritoneum just mm -hmm. from anterior mm -hmm. surface. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so you want to, to go to the structure. Yes. Thank you very much. I guess we will give you a chance to, to, <laughs> to talk about the structure. Dr. Fischer, you are wonderful. Okay. Yes. 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 Who wants to, to start Dr. Mosera Kwasi? The whole of health care of the mother. <laughs> okay, the structure of the kidney. <coughs> this is our kidney, the internal part of the kidney. On the outer most part we have what we call the cortex. And if you look, the pinkish part here is known as the medulla or the medulla or pyramid. It, it is it is, you know, it is structured into pyramids, yes? So each pyramid is like a unit. Yes? Yes. <laughs> so like Dr. Abhishek has said earlier on, the helium is this part where the renal artery and renal vein enter into the kidney. We have two branches, that is the anterior branch and the posterior branch. And we've got two segments, the superior segment and the inferior segment. The anterior branch will divide into anterior superior segment and an anterior inferior segment mm -hmm. and 
and from the segmental part we go to the interlobe interlobular segment interlobular segments which are these ones. Mm -hmm. From the inter interlobular we go into the arcuate arteries mm -hmm. which then come round the pyramid or the medulla. Mm -hmm. This would be the ureter which leads into the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis would divide into what are known as major calluses. Major calluses divide into what are known as minor calluses, which But actually why so worse? First of all, we should we should name them according to the how do we get the urine? The urine we get from minor calluses into major calluses into renal pelvis. Yes. So how it happens, the filtration of the blood, what is that and how it is organized? This is our renal corpuscle. Corpuscle. Mm -hmm. So we have got the afferent arterial which brings blood into the, this part of the corpuscle known as the glomerulus. This is where filtration takes place. So what happens is the blood, blood from the afferent arterial is brought into the glomerulus and due to the blood pressure, water and solutes.